Okay, so the, the other day we were watching this documentary and it was all about what the media... It was about how the government controls the media and how the media, it's not really as free and open as you think because there's only a couple corporations that be controlling what you're actually watching and it, we got in depth. It was started getting crazy, bro. You remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I recall it a little bit. You don't remember? No. Oh, bro, <laughs> what do you mean? You right were the one that showed me. us it. No, no, no. It's called, what, uh, I can't even one. say the name because... All right, I'll explain because uh, clearly they were fell asleep refresh during the me, dude. I, I, we've watched so many docs; they kind of all interlap with each other to me. It just did refresh you, like more. That was it. I feel like every doc we've watched is about that. <laughs> we have <laughs> we have been watching a lot of conspiracy documentaries. They're just interesting. But um, all right. First, I can't say the name of the doc because for some reason the document, the documentary itself is shadow banned on YouTube, but it has over like twenty five million views. If you type in the exact word the exact title of the documentary mm -hmm. you still can't find it but follow us all on instagram and we'll we'll put up the actual name of the doc over there so follow everyone yeah and then oh, we'll yeah, get yeah. banned on instagram yeah, no yeah. Wait, really i don't know bro we might get banned for saying yo I, the government controls yeah i don't no know way. this is a big risk but whole, keep going we're whole, already in it the whole <laughs> <laughs> the whole documentary was about how the media is controlled by the government, and the government uses the media to almost brainwash you, in a, in a way. From like a young age. Oh, the, from a young age, they like groom you. Oh, now I know what yeah, you're talking now, about. See, now it, it makes more sense. Yeah, than it's I it's the one. It's the one where. All right, so <clears throat> like Disney, it always comes back to Disney. Disney be kind of weird, mm, man. Mm. But Disney movies, other and Disney owns like multiple news stations. It's like crazy, mm -hmm. I think. But in their pictures and in their art that they make you know what i'm saying i know what you're saying do you know what you're saying yeah i'm trying to explain because it was such a mind-breaking documentary that it's like so much to compact but basically they put out things and hide images that make you like sexualize stuff from a young age like if you look at the titles and the actual artwork of movies that have been made they make you think and program your mind and two examples of this are why in so many cartoon movies mm. do they have the movie start out without having a parent missing a parent bambi starts out with missing a parent lion king mm -hmm. parent dies frozen the Mimo, Mimo, Mimo. Yeah, it's because they want you to be accustomed to trauma like that to trauma and that being raised not that being raised by one parent is a bad thing that's nothing wrong with that but they but they want they almost want you to like they think it's almost, like normal they're almost desensitizing you to trauma the trauma and not even just trauma, just like other type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like they want to overstimulate your brain so that you're all the dopamine that hits. Dude, I'm get, I'm lost. It's so crazy. <laughs> oh, bro, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try to explain from the yeah, best bro, of my ability. That was crazy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Left you speechless, huh? Yeah, it's it's too much for me to comprehend. Right now, yeah. <laughs> all right. But the, the documentary is told from the perspective of this guy who was in the industry. And most of the time, this conspiracy stuff, I'm pretty aware. And sometimes the stuff just be sounding like BS and random crap that's pulling such far strings to make it make sense. But this mm -hmm. actually seemed like it had a good basis of what was he was talking about. Someone who's in the industry, and he told about how corrupt just so much stuff is. And it was very eye-opening. Give it. Give an example of so the corrupt stuff, like because I know a couple examples that would be good. Well, it, it, part of it. All right, example. Give me an example, bro. Yes, uh, the one I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk about the thing that I talked about. Talk before. about it. We're so on basically, podcast. from yes, no, I know. So from a young age, they get you to see things on the screen and desensitize you to different things. So, you already said that, brother. No, I know, but I'm giving specific examples. Okay. Like in the movie Tangled. The hair of the girl on the screen is spelled out to say S E X. And that one was a little bit of a stretch, though. Okay. Uh, that, was, that was like the one thing in the documentary where well, I was like, well, Dang, bro, then, forget what I no, said no, then. Also, too, there was graphics on whether it was the picture of the movie or in the movie, and it's like yeah. hidden sexual things. Remember that? That was up there, too. Oh, and this, this is the part that blew my mind the most was there was an army officer. I don't know if he was an army officer, he was in the military, high ranking officer. And he was part of a devil-worshipping church. 
And they didn't find out until after he left the church. And it's like, bro. And he was in the government high up for over 40 plus years, right? Yeah. And I'm like, bro, how is this guy making calls on all this stuff when he's known to be doing all this crazy stuff? Yeah, I don't even know what we're saying if it is so vague that it doesn't even make sense. Yeah. <laughs> I think you two are lost in the sauce. No, no, I get it, but I'm trying to I'm trying to give them specific like anecdotes so they can comprehend this cuz right now we're just like, yo, the government controls. It does control, but it controls the people at the top. This is what I got out of the documentary. Sum it it up, controls sum it, it the government can control the people at the top, like the highest people and those people have so much influence on everyone else that they only need to control the top to influence the rest of the people. So if, mm -hmm, they, mm -hmm. if, they, if they show the different news stations, and they had a clip of this, where they played thousand news stations at the same time and synced it up, and they had the exact same script. That was if, insane. If yeah. they want to push something out like that, all they have to do is control the major news networks, both sides, and make it seem like you're having a choice when really you don't have a choice. They're like, oh, you got the left side and you got the right side. And they're like, this side has all this about them. This side has, the other side has all this about them. But really, whichever side you choose, it's them. It's them. And it all connects to them, bro. <laughs> that, that was a great summary of- That makes sense, right? That was a great summary of the podcast. That's actually pretty much exactly what it was about. The podcast? The po you mean the documentary? The documentary, bro. I'm sorry. And <laughs>